what's going on youtube it's been a while since i made a video been busy with covid and the kids you can see i'm in the back seat but yeah we it's it's been a blessing and a curse um a lot more family time and but at the same time still trying to keep the income coming in keep it flowing and everything so you know making the most of it but since i got a little bit of time I want to talk to you guys real quick about the different enhancements that I've used. I try not to use enhancements as often as possible because natural is always better, but I have experimented with different ones and I just want to give you guys my thoughts on it to see what you like or dislike or if you've had these experiences or even if you have questions about these products before you buy them, you, um, I'm here to answer them. I always respond to the comments so you can post your comments below in this video and I'll be more than happy. So let's get into it. All right, so first up is the Black Ice Original Touch-Up Spray. Now, it's been out longer than most, so you would think the quality would be better <laughs> than what it is, but honestly, not a fan. I've used I use it sometimes on my like Hispanic clients. Do I have any on the wall? Yeah, those with like true black hair, but I'm I'm really not a fan the way it sprays. It sprays out all wild. It's like no no control about it, and it's it's kind of hard to. And it's really liquidy. It's really liquidy, like it's runny. So it's it's kind of hard to manipulate, and it runs all down the client's hair, and I have to end up wiping it off. So I'm definitely not a fan of the Black Ice touch-up spray. I mean, I'm sure others have had better experiences with it, but in my experiences, not good. All right, next up, we got Black Solutions Fade to Brown. They make two different kinds, Fade to Brown and Fade to Black. Now, this one is convenient, I mean, the other one was in the spray can, too. And so it is definitely convenient that they're in the spray cans. My only issue with it is this one comes out very pasty. Like, it's, it's kind of, it almost feels like you're spraying powder on their hair. Like, like the, the hair fibers. Yeah, it's very similar to, like, a liquid hair fiber type deal. It doesn't, um, my clients have not been a fan of it. A lot of them have even requested no more enhancements. <laughs> After using this because they really just don't like the way it feels on the hair. They don't like the sticky feeling of it or any of it. So again, not a fan. So sorry, Black Solutions. I do love their liquid razor. Now the liquid razor, hands down, the best hole spray I have ever used in this short time of my barber career. I promise you, that one's worth the money. It's like $15 a can. It's about the size of this one, a little bit narrower. And it lasted, I got it in, like the first can I got, I got it in February. And it lasted all the way until April. And that was with regular cuts back to back, right before the corona hit. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. And I definitely recommend that. But I do not recommend the fade to brown or the fade to black. <sighs> last. Well, no, not last, actually. Not one more. But this is the one I use more commonly, the Kiss Express color. Um, this one's pretty decent. It just, I hate that you gotta dilute it and mix it with the alcohol. And I could personally do without that because getting the mix right seems to take forever and an eternity. And even when I mix it the same ratio, it still never comes out exactly the same every time. And I even end up sometimes putting a little drop of alcohol in the sprayer beforehand, and then I'll put this in and kind of swirl it around. So I do like it because it lasts, my client said it lasts, you know, until next haircut, so right before the next haircut. So that's definitely good because you want your haircuts to last as long as possible because it makes the client feel like they're getting added value. But it, again, I don't like to got to mix it. And I know Tune 45 makes the pre-mix one. Now, I haven't had a chance to try that one yet. I ordered it, but it I ended up somehow, I think one of my kids threw it away or something <laughs> before they realized what it was. And 
So yeah, I gotta order some more and I wanna try it out when I let you guys know. So look out for an updated video because I will be reviewing that later on. But for right now, my top is the Kiss Express. It's the one I use the most often. It's the one that's, you know, my clients love. It doesn't smell as good as the Black Solutions, but again, it doesn't leave that pasty effect and it's very easy to manipulate with the airbrush. So there's that. And last, but not least, they, the um, hair fibers. Okay, I know it's many, many different brands out there. You got the Rich Barber version, you got the Illusion, the Optical, or whatever it's called. But when it comes to hair fibers, again, not a fan. I do like the way they go on at first and the way it leaves the client hair looking very sharp. The line is very sharp, very, very sharp. Only problem is, Go outside, strong wind, boom, it's gone. So in my opinion, it's not really worth it because it doesn't last long. Even with hose spray, you got clients, a lot of times the first instinct, especially with waivers, is to brush. As soon as you start brushing it, it's gone. And it's not even worth the time or money that it took to get it in. And again, like I say, a lot of people, their first instinct, especially with kids, I've tried it on kids as well, and they, as soon as they walk out, they're touching their hair and it's all over their hands. And I'm not a fan of leaving them with anything that's really messy or hard to manipulate. I mean, not hard to manipulate, but just messy and not um, long lasting. So, all right guys, there are my top four that I use the most often or have used, have had experiences with. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So as always, like, share, comment, it helps me to know what content you guys are interested in and whether this is even helpful or not. And I would love to hear your, your um, what you think about it and if you've had experiences with any of these as well. And that's it. Till next time.